wow, the whole world is experiencing the life of an artist right now. The complete yeah. uncertainty, the total inconsistency. But how many of you believe that you are perfectly capable of getting unstuck? Yeah, exactly. That was like instantaneous. This year, Verde Valley Ideas is dedicated to exploring the exception. I love that this year's theme is dedicated to the overlooked, dismissed, and denied outliers because as a gay man having grown up in a small rural town, I've always personally identified as the exception more often than not. Gregory Douglas is a widely celebrated and award-winning songwriter and musician. So let's band together, make it last forever. An accomplished alumnus, he was a co-founder of the GSA at Brewster back in 1997. As a Christian at Brewster, what changes would you like to see in support of awareness and acceptance? Oh, that is a beautiful question. History has a way of repeating, so we need to stay visible and keep you know, people well informed so that they're less afraid because isn't that what all the problems in the world come down to? People are afraid because they're not informed. And he's the only student that Headmaster David Smith ever encouraged to not go to college. Because I knew what I wanted to do. I've learned a lot about creative leadership and I've become more and more passionate about helping fellow humans get creative about their lives. I never could have imagined that growing up as the exception was exactly what people needed to hear from me through music to help them feel less alone in the world too. You have such an opportunity right now to make the kind of relationships that will last a lifetime because life is about relationships, business is about relationships. People want to work with who they like and trust in every industry. It's interesting you say, I want to do this, but like I need to make a living. As though those two things are completely separate. But what if they weren't? What if profoundly different changes came if you honored that thing that was persisting? And all of a sudden, the jazz band is the thing that like you're making a living at. Can you imagine that? That'd be amazing. There you go. That'd be amazing. It's about thriving and not surviving. Yes, can I get an amen? Who wants to thrive and not survive? <laughs> but just a little bit about your process altogether as an artist and, and how mental health kind of plays into that whole part of it. I love that we're talking about this, the creative process from this standpoint because it's been a driving source of my creative mission. National Public Radio's Morning Edition called him one of New England's best kept secrets. Gregory is an independent musician, songwriting teacher, public speaker. I like to consider myself a creative alchemist these days, and I've been creating my own opportunities for two decades now. Music is the universal language, and the stories we have to share connect us deeply in a society more often obsessed with our differences than our similarities. I can do a good job and get paid well and make a living, but my passion is something different. I'm a former accountant. I'm not a creative person. People who are not creative deserve to create an opportunity <laughs> so yes. that's why I'm here today. Realize that you like the drama and that you're in control over when and how this shows up. It's basically the gist of what you were saying to me. And that conversation really pivoted for me what it is that I allow into my life. So thank you so much for that moment. I just want to say thank you. This has given me a lot of ideas. That can make such a difference over time. So thank you for sharing that. I called him at the age of like 17. Can you just tell me everything? Telling me everything from how to get your CD printed, how to get a manager, how to keep a manager, how to keep friends and not burn bridges. He works so hard and like, he's really a very driven artist. He has a vision and he's going toward it. Very informative and I really enjoy the triple O approach. You just look at the problem and you start breaking it down. How can you remember that? Paula Abdul, of course. Straight up now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. So now you'll always think <laughs> of Paula Abdul when you're creating your own opportunities. Because we all need to use Beyonce as an example at some point in the workshop. She's owning her inner rock star. She's like, how can I make this be the best it can be for myself, for my fans? Imagine if we could think like that all the time. What would actually result from that? It's incredible the things that can happen just from one opportunity. What are some other things that you go to that give you passion or that can really kind of reignite? Sex. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it's such a 
form of self-expression, the movement and the exploration that you can really bring to the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're clinging so tightly to what we think we know about everything. That we're, we're not in our hearts, we're in our heads all the time. But when we're creating, we're not, and you know this, you all already know this because you're creative people. Not to be cliche here, but like, it really is all about the journey. This whole music thing could have just been like plan B. <laughs>